I came into care when I was 17 years old. Um, my, my grandparents uh, from my mother's side uh, were my guardians that took care of me most of my life and they both passed away. And at that point, I was actually in um, a, substance, a substance abuse treatment center. I remember looking at a dumpster on Las Vegas Boulevard and thinking that's in a, in a week, that's where I was gonna be at. There are approximately 3,300 children in foster care right now in Clark County, Nevada, and about 85% of them are being represented by an attorney. CAP attorneys not only play a very important role, but they have an obligation, of course, to meet with their client, to build up that client relationship, and make sure that those children understand what's going on, understand their rights, understand that they have the right to be heard, that we have a foster care bill of rights, but all kids have a bill of rights to make sure that their rights are being met. So to have an attorney for me was, I mean, at first I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I didn't really know what attorneys did at the time that I, that I actually got one. When we were in Ely a couple of years ago, uh, Bob accepted all the remaining cases that hadn't been taken at Ely, uh, all the remaining cab cases. I think there were a dozen or more. I first met Bob because we had a case together. I found him to be an amazing attorney and just really passionate about the kids that we were representing. He would call me on weekends, he would call me after hours, we'd talk on our cell phones. He had a great handle on the case and he wanted to do everything he could to help his client. Uh, people have asked me over the years if uh, Bob handed the rest of, or handed those pro bono cases to the rest of us in the office and I can tell you that Bob personally handled every one of those cases from start to finish. I've had them in front of me in domestic cases which involve multi-millions of dollars, literally, they're multi-million dollars of assets. I've had them appear in front of me for pro bono, for abuse and neglected children, and you cannot tell the difference when he's representing a client for millions of dollars or he's representing pro bono. It was a really emotional time because I was going to meet uh, my biological father, which I, I did not know. I, I never met him. I only had his name and my attorney really helped me through that moment. Bob is so deserving of this award. He currently has 10 open cap cases and is representing over 30 children. He works with large sibling groups, he works with children with mental health issues, and he takes some of our most difficult cases. Now I'm like, I'm two years clean and sober. Um, I, 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 in, the, in that period of time, I had gotten a job, another job, and I went to school, uh, and I'm gonna graduate with an associate's this, this semester in psychology. I think everybody knows that Bob's an incredible attorney, one of the best in the state of Nevada, but he's also one of the most caring and giving people you, you're ever gonna meet. And he really enjoys these cap cases. His father was a very respected, prominent attorney, always willing to volunteer his legal services, his donation, and Bob's the same. That's exactly where he got it from, no doubt about it. I guess in this case, it's fair to say that the acorn didn't fall far from the tree. I uh, am so privileged to be able to speak in behalf of the recipient of this award, my son Bob Dickerson. He has always made his mother and me proud, but now particularly very, very proud of his accomplishments. He's an excellent lawyer, a fantastic son. When you were a little boy, you tried to help, you tried to do everything you could for everybody. Congratulations, Dad. This award means a lot, and I think that nobody deserves it more than you. Bob, congratulations for a well-deserved. You rock, Bob. Way to go, man. On behalf of all the clients that Bob is helping, I'd like to give him a special thanks. Congratulations, Bob. I am thrilled that you are getting this award. I cannot think of anyone who deserves it more. I told my wife, I said, you can almost imagine these kids with the enthusiasm in their voice, they're playing superheroes, and one of them says, I'm Batman, and the other one says, I'm Superman, and the third one goes, I'm Lawyer Bob. 